I can't tell you how many people have asked me about switching to computer science from a non-computer science undergraduate degree. So if you're thinking of doing the same, don't worry, you are not alone, far from it. In this video, I want to give you guys a list of universities that have programs that allow non-computer science students to switch into the field of computer science through a master's degree, right? Now, first thing that you need to know is that computer science itself is extremely competitive. It's probably the most competitive master's program out there currently. And this program, which allows, you know, non-CS students to switch into CS, it's going to be equally, if not more competitive than a regular MS and CS program. Okay, so you guys need to make sure that you have a really good profile if you're aiming for, you know, one of the best universities. Maybe if you don't have the best profile, it might be smart to aim a little bit lower. So in this video, I'm going to give you guys a list of these universities and these ones are going to be in the US. If you guys want me to make a different video about the universities, maybe in the UK, then let me know in the comment section and I will definitely make that video. Okay, so let's get started. The first program is the MCIT program at the University of Pennsylvania. So this is, you know, once again, a computer science program that's specifically meant for non-computer science students, right? So it inducts you into the computer science world, you know, teaches you all the fundamentals, allows you to specialize just a little bit, and then of course, graduate and then work at CS companies in a CS-based role, right? This is a pretty competitive program. They do have like a super high uh, GRE average and stuff. So like I said, all these programs are really competitive. But again, if you are someone that does not have a CS background at all, but you do have a pretty good academic profile, then definitely consider applying to this program because it's probably going to do exactly what you want it to do, which is going to help you switch into CS. The next one is the MS and CS program at NYU. So now this one is a little bit different because it does allow students who are not from a computer science background to apply for the MS and CS program. However, the catch is they still want some students with some decent, you know, somewhat computer science related background. And in, in your case, you know, in many of your cases, it might not be true that, you know, you guys do have a computer science background, right? For example, in my mechanical engineering course, I took very few computer science related courses. So I probably would not be eligible for this MS and CS at NYU Tandon. But what's cool about NYU is that they actually have an affordable, affordable, online bridge program. So how it works is, let's say you are applying for the fall 23 intake, right? If you're applying for the fall 23 intake, that means your deadline for the regular MS and CS program would be around December 2022 or maybe January 2023. So what NYU allows you to do is to take a six month online course like a bridge program, which essentially teaches you a bunch of computer science fundamentals that makes you eligible for this master's in computer science program, right? So this program, this bridge program costs $1,850, um, which is exa exactly, not exactly affordable in Indian rupees, but still, if you want to invest in your computer science education, definitely a good idea to go for it. So through this six month program, you'll learn all the computer science fundamentals and then you'll be able to be, and then you'll be fully eligible for the master's in computer science at NYU. And what's another cool thing about NYU is that through this bridge program, not only will you be eligible for the MS and CS at NYU, but you'll also be eligible for the other MS and CS programs at their partner institutions, okay? So I've taken a look at their partner institutions and those institutions are not the best, that's for sure, but still it does give you a larger pool of universities to consider applying to after you've completed this bridge program. The only downside of this bridge program is, you know, besides the cost, is the fact that it's mainly for NYU, right? So if you do the entire bridge program, you'd be eligible for the NYU program. Whereas will you be eligible for all the other MS and CS programs? That's really dependent on that university. You'd have to go and check. Okay, so now I know that was a long one, but the next one is a little bit shorter. So number three is Boston University. So Boston University, again, they don't expect students to have a computer science undergraduate degree, but they do want students who have taken some computer science related classes and have like a decent understanding, right? Whatever courses that you haven't taken, you can still complete it, I think during your master's program or before your master's program, right? So this is mainly for students from like the EC background or basically any kind of background where you guys have taken some courses, maybe like data structures and algorithms, or maybe like computing fundamentals and stuff, but you haven't taken all the courses that will make you eligible for an MS and CS. I know a lot of students like this have approached me, so if you guys are in the same boat, you've taken some CS courses, but not a lot of CS courses, you might be eligible for Boston University's MS and CS. If you've enjoyed this video so far and you're learning a lot of new things, make sure you're subscribed to the channel because we have a ton of graduate program-related information coming out every single week, so make sure you're subscribed. Next up is 
Georgia Tech. So Georgia Tech, a very similar scenario. They want someone with a somewhat CS background in their undergraduate degree for, for them to be accepted for this master's degree. And number five is the University of Chicago. So University of Chicago is very similar to the University of Pennsylvania in that they accept students without a computer science background to apply for their master's in computer science. But the thing is, in, at the University of Pennsylvania, they have two different programs. One is a CS program meant for CS undergrads, and the second is a CS program which is meant for non-CS undergrads, which is what I spoke to you guys about. But at the University of Chicago, they just have one CS program as far as I understand, and then they allow all students to apply for this program. So even if you're not from a CS background, but you guys have a good academic profile, you should be able to get into this program. So those are just five universities. There's gonna be a lot more universities out there. So we have a full, not a full list, we have a bigger list on our blog post. I'm gonna leave a link to the blog post in the description section. And if you guys know of more universities that are accepting students from without a CS background to get into CS, let me know and I'll add it into the list so that it can benefit everybody. Thank you guys so much for watching and if you really enjoyed this video, make sure you leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more graduate program related information.